Long time no see. Natalia Vladimirovna, we've got a tiny baby found at school, in the bin, in the toilet. It's alive, but cold and barely breathing. Clear his nose and mouth. Wrap him in something warm. Call an ambulance. Send me the address. I'll be right there. Got it. I'll call an ambulance now. What, do you want to get back at Pasha for kissing Elisa? Then do that lipstick better. Give me that. You're looking a little different today. Oh, eyes are sparkling. What, a heated makeup after a fight? Come here. Here we go. It suits you. You know, if I were you, I wouldn't play someone else's game. There's something about you that no one else has. Not that doll, nor anyone else. Do you understand? I mean, who needs Turgenev girls anyway? Okay, Nadia. So there is a patient of Bazinov's in the ER. Find her card and bring it there. He'll be here in about 10 minutes. And hurry up. You called an ambulance? They found him here, in this toilet. The window was wide open. Uh, the baby was in the bin. It's a girl. Oh my God, how old is she? About six months? No more. She has severe hypothermia. So she lay there for half an hour, no less? I didn't know what to do. You did everything right. Close the door! Bradycardia. We need to keep her warm. Okay, I've got some of Mishka's stuff. We have heating pads in the doctor's office. No heating pads. Where's the doctor? She's on sick leave. Perfect. We need skin-to-skin -skin contact. Wait, let me... Wait, let me... Ah, oh, you're such a smart girl. Oh, girl. Hello. It's Lazarus from the Center of Practical Medicine, Neonatology. We called an ambulance to the gymnasium. What's the number? 856. 856 on Navada Street. On the road? Waiting. Excuse me. Here. Thank you. That's it. Litiani, CPM, let's go. We should find her mom. Where can we get everyone together? At the gym. My name is Natalia Vladimirovna Bakhmativa. I'm a gynecologist. I know you all know what happened. I'm not going to scare, lecture, or teach anyone how to live your lives. I just want to tell you about the consequences of childbirth, especially like this one. It can be anything. For example, inflammation of the uterus. Then the blood poisoning can start, and then it... It can possibly be fatal. <gasps> what happened? Oh, oh, Is she good. okay? What's going on? Oh, no. oh my god. 
Is it her? Apparently it's her. I'll take her to the center. What is your term, Marta Mendoga Sovna? <sighs> you can just call me Martha. 22 weeks. Uh, I have twins, but my belly has really grown a lot. Very much. Hello. Hello, Ruslan Evgenievich. Help me. <laughs> I've become so big in the last two weeks that everyone thinks I'm about to give birth. Well, we'll figure it out. Uh, how are you feeling in general? Not good, to be honest. For some reason, it's become very hard to walk. Hmm. Well, let's have a look. What is it? You have a rare complication that happens with twins. They are in the same placenta and there are pathologic anastomoses present. What's that? These are vessels. Uh, they communicate blood between twins and roughly speaking, one child steals from the other one. Is that why the belly has grown so much? Yes. Yes, one has a pronounced polyuria, and the other one has almost no amniotic fluid. Is, the, is it dangerous? Very. We need to do the surgery as soon as possible, or the pregnancy may be terminated. Genia, they will be bringing in a girl who gave birth at her school. Please make sure Sechenov examines her. Natalia, they're waiting for you in Yuri Alexievich's office. I think we should send her to Moscow. Oh, uh, Natalia, join us, please. We have monocarionic diamnotic twins with a pronounced polyuria in one twin, and the other twin has no water. The bladder is not visible. Fetofatal transfusion syndrome? Yes. I believe that we can handle this operation on our own. A special stethoscope has recently been purchased, and we have the laser. It solves all of the problems. Andre has performed intrauterine surgeries before. Oh, really? I thought his job was to calculate the milligrams for the prescriptions. If you're not aware, colleagues, the operation only seems simple. No, no, we are aware, of course. I assisted in similar operations during my training. The operation itself is generally straightforward. It's quite simple. Enter the amniotic cavity of the twin with a trocar, insert a fetoscope, find the anastomosis and coagulate with a laser. Well, especially as Rosalind said, we have all the necessary equipment, and we know Rosalind is an excellent ultrasound technician. He will control the moment of puncture. He will help. Alexievich? We'll be fine. All right. If you can convince the patient to trust two basically first-timers, then, well, go ahead. Well, we'll talk to her now. We have to wait for the father. Isn't he your husband? It's a complicated situation. How's the abandoned baby? It'll be okay. I'll be right there. Yeah, huh? catch up. Mm -hmm. uh, Natalia, is it true that you and Lazarev broke up? The schoolgirl's parents are here. Did Alexei Nikolaevich examine her? Yes, everything's okay. So she fainted out of fear? Yes. Vasily, good afternoon. You got the tickets, right? Well, that's great. Is that why you moved in with Grandma? You know, we didn't know anything. It's just that for the first two months, Lorachka avoided seeing us, and our grandmother is blind. No, I of course noticed that Lyra had gained weight, but I wrote it off to the fact that she stopped sports and was eating a lot more wasn't watching her diet. Mom, stop defending yourself to them. Who's the father, Lyra? Doesn't matter. I'm not going to keep her anyway. We've already figured that out. But why didn't you have an abortion?
Can we see our granddaughter? No. Natalia Vladimirovna, the police are waiting outside. I'll talk to him. Doctor, why is she so red? Is that normal? No, it's not normal. Aren't they gonna have a word with Natalia and Valeria? No, the case is closed. Is this the child? Yes. How can you hate your child so much to throw it away like garbage? She's 16, she'd know better. She chose a toilet where the window was open and she won't have any consequences because her dad is a big shot. All strange actions have a reason. Genia. Hmm? What we had was a... a mistake. Excuse me. Yes, what is it? Good afternoon. Hello. This is Martha, this is Arthur. Hello. I'm here as a friend, not just a donor. It doesn't matter. This is Andre, the head of the neonatology department, and he will be performing the operation. Neonatology is something about newborns, isn't it? I studied fetal surgery. Have you ever done this before? I've done similar ones. Exactly like this, no. And if you happen to do something wrong? One of the children could die. Is that right? Both children could die. Doctor, I don't have any other children. The fact that I was able to get pregnant with my diagnosis even with IVF, it's a miracle. Andre is a great specialist, and if we were not sure about this, we would not have offered you this option. I can't take the risk. I will go to Moscow and find a surgeon there who will give me a 100% guarantee. No one will give you a 100% guarantee, neither here nor in Moscow, unfortunately. Rustling Evgenievich, give us a couple of minutes. Sure. Martha, I understand you're scared. If they were your children. Martha, they're my kids. Bazanov shouldn't have called you. I thought we had a clear agreement. Yeah, I know. I'm not making a claim. I know I'm just a friend who helped you because you were tired of digging through databases of nameless donors. I just wanted a baby with someone I know and appreciate, but that's not what we're talking about right now. Do you remember how many times you tried before Bazanov? Is that a reason to believe him now that we have this decision to make? If my opinion means anything to you, then I say yes. It's good. I remembered a film, a Lithuanian film, I think. Arthur and Martha were there too. There was a war or something. Ah, uh, 
It's a long way down the dunes. A lot been filled. She's agreed. When's the operation? Now. Wait here. We can. Right here. Scope. Andre? Mm hmm. Are you seeing this? Mm hmm. The fetoscope. Wow, who would have thought? Just like adults. And I thought they'd be looming behind your back for the rest of your life. And you gave Andre the go ahead to kick him out with a clear conscience if he makes a mistake. You know, I don't care about him at all. I really don't. Mm-hmm. The water is breaking. Mm-hmm. We need to coagulate. Laser. Natalia, I don't care who Sonny is. I love him as my own. Come back. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see the donor's bladder. Water, the recipient is fine. The bladder is shrinking. Mm -hmm. I hope the blood flow is stopped. What now? Let's wrap it up. Mm -hmm. The main thing is they are alive. Let's postpone the victory dance until tomorrow. Anything's still possible. Here you go. Listen, the DJ is awesome. <laughs> and the bartender? The bartender has blue eyes. Nadia, <laughs> Nadia. Why are you running away from me like Forrest Gump all day long? That kiss with Elisa didn't mean anything. I just took a little too many painkillers. Pash. We'll never make it. What do you mean? Well, you know what my grandmother used to say? There are a hundred angels where it's easy and none where it's hard. We've had everything too hard from the start. I'm sorry. Girls, can I go to the club with you? To the club? Well, yeah. <laughs> How's your patient? Good. She said she could finally breathe fully. We took out the excess water. What took you so long? Jan wasn't feeling well. I wanted to be with him. Is that the miracle boy with the handsome dad? Mm. What kind of illness has he got? Decompressed heart defect with primary pulmonary hypertension. Both heart and lungs? Yes. I see. Do we need to stop at the store? Not if you agree on salad and carbonara. Oh, I'll settle for anything today. Tomorrow we'll stock up for the whole week. Your refrigerator will think you've lost your mind. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> What's in there now? Personal space? I'm hiding my lover there now. Oh, 
here. Lazarev, I can't do without you. Marry me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm on my own again. Wait. Will you be my wife? Let me think. Here's to you. Why are you here? I couldn't leave until you told me everything's all right. The nurse will bring the ultrasound and we'll check it out. I mean, why aren't you in the room? Oh, I don't want to embarrass her. I don't like to be clingy. I see. Can I ask a personal question? How does a long distance captain manage without women? <laughs> why aren't you together? I've seen a lot of couples, but for a man to help a woman in such a delicate situation, and only for her benefit, you know. This is the first time. Martha is the sister of my best friend, Remus. Back when we were kids, five years of age difference seemed huge. The first time I looked at her as a girl, it was when I got back from the army. She took me to the Mukin school where she was going to enroll. And so when she was showing these paintings talking about what she wanted to paint. She had a kind of, a kind of unusual face. It was like it was lit up. And her gaze, that peculiar gaze. I'm sure I caught that gaze later at my own wedding. So you married someone else? Yeah. And then one by one, her parents died, and two years later, Remus died. And that's when, three days before his funeral, we bonded really deeply. But you're still married. No, my wife left when she found out I was doing this to help Martha. But then why aren't you together yet? A celebration, like when I was a kid, patties the size of airships, and special salad in a bowl. <laughs> what salad? Special salad. Lazarev, <laughs> didn't you have a childhood? Hello. 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 OK. Hello. Uh, what did you want to show me? Let's see. I stumbled across it today. I was on shift. Look. That's when I saw it. It's cool, right? Yeah, exactly. 
Here we go. We've got the amniotic fluid from the twin donor. You see that? We have them here. And what does that mean? That the operation was successful. <laughs> here you go. Well, I'm off. <laughs> Look, I don't want to be an uncle with presents for them. I don't want to be just a Sunday father. Okay. Ruslan Evgenievich. Ruslan Evgenievich! Hmm? Hello. Ah, Vasily. <laughs> How was your trip? It must have been difficult. Well, from our North Pole, one can only get there by sled. Ruslan Evgenievich, I don't know how to thank you. All my money... No, no, stop it. Let's go to your wife. A pregnant woman is like a princess, and a princess shouldn't be left bored. Let's go. <laughs> Tasia, what's the problem? It's like you've been switched off. Where's that girl who used to light up everything around her? I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I wake up in the morning and realize my legs are failing, as if they weren't mine. Someone else's, lying there, next to me on the bed. And I can't feel them at all. Vasya. Hello, Tasenka. Vasya. Tasia. Vasya. Did you pay for his ticket? She's not even your patient. If you and Andre are no longer together, can we talk about my involvement in Mishka's life? We're getting married. Dad. Dad, don't. Dad. Dad, don't. No. somehow justify my cruelty in your eyes. Take it. How are you? I'm fine now. All night long, there have been chills, heavy sweats, high fever. Endometritis? No, I don't think so. The ultrasound is good. Some leukocytosis and anemia in the blood, but everything corresponds to the day of the postpartum period. So the condition has normalized for no apparent reason? Lyra, did you think about what your mom said to you? That having a baby at 16 isn't a tragedy? About her willing to help you with everything? Mm, thanks. She already helped. Then we stop lactating. Are you sure? Do you think all I want is to be a milkmaker? Can I not be brainwashed by all of this? Start bromocryptine.
Pavel Olegovich, could you please let me go for a few hours today, huh? I am not your doctor. It's just that Alexei Nikolaevich refuses and I really need to. It's my husband's birthday today. I really want to surprise him. Be at the hospital at 8 o'clock. <laughs> Thank you. Lyra's fever's back up to 40 and rising. The shivering is bad. She's practically shaking the bed. A reaction to the medication? More like a reaction to the parents. They came and now this. Could it be malaria? Hello there. When was the last time Lyra was abroad? Any exotic countries? Asia or Africa? They went to Thailand with Valera. When? About six months ago. Did she feel unwell when she returned? Well, she had a common cold, but it went away quickly. Do you suspect something? Yes, malaria. We're going to test Lyra and the baby. Wait, but um, how was she supposed to feel it? Well, in those, what, it was, it was, it was like seven months. Mm, the incubation period can last up to a year. Did it happen in Thailand? What happened? After that, you stopped playing tennis, right? So you didn't have to play in a short skirt. And started eating like crazy. Gained 15 kilos just to not be so attractive. Shenya. Then you went to your grandmother. Look, shut up, will you? Because you couldn't hide it anymore. That you were raped by your own father. What are you saying? Are you, are you out of your mind? We'll stop her. That's it. We're transferring her to another hospital. Is that why you threw her in the bin? That ugly child. An incest baby, a subhuman. Yes. 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 Unbelievable. Do you believe what this girl is saying? Uh, why don't we take a DNA test and we can laugh about the situation together? Dan. You promised. You promised to raise her as your own daughter. Dan, it's not my fault. She provoked me. Wiggling her ass right in front of me. Fucking Lolita. To raise me like his own daughter? Mom, is he not my father? No. The infection doctor has already had a look. Lyra does have malaria. They started chemo. The daughter is clean. Apparently the placental barrier worked. See you later. I thought you were gonna fire me. For what? Well, because you can't do that to patients and their parents. Do you have plans for tonight? One thing, which one of these people here would you be marrying if I were late? Oh, <laughs> oh, Evgenia Viktorovna. She makes the best patty. And I approve of this choice, by the way. Mwah. All right, guys, let's drink. <laughs> Fill it up. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Hello? Ah, hello, hello. All right, M my love, I, I beg you, 
please be careful out there. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yes. K kisses, kisses. And 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 also and and also you. But bye. Bye. Uh, kisses, kisses. Bye. Asia? Yeah. It was. She asked me to say hello to everyone. Why isn't she here? She f flew f to the edge of the earth, you know? She's learning uh, English, you see? First on the internet and now in a country full of native speakers. In England? In New Zealand. Wow, why so far? She has a teacher there who taught her on the internet. Well, and to see more of the world. Very cool. Oh, uh, what about you? How are you doing personally? Uh, Natka? No, I'm not interested. Oh, uh, tell me who is it then? Ah, the queen of the weightlifting... It, uh, the weightlifting arena. Lyosha, to look at married women is not a good thing. We'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. A salad and vinaigrette? <laughs> you know, with such organizational skills, you should be a chief doctor. Mm -hmm. Or at least the president. <laughs> to organize this in one day, I just said yes to a very right person. Maybe. Listen, Natalia, mm -hmm. why'd mm -hmm. you invite this person? Xenia. I think she's uncomfortable or feels like a stranger. Hmm. I think it's high time she became a fully fledged member of our big family. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Come on. Yes, yes. Dear lovers at an engagement party, they don't do it quietly, they do it in such a way that people have something to look at. Mish, mm? the patties are yours, right? Well, I usually have small ones, but your man keeps going on about how big they should be. I barely had time to make them. <laughs> it's all Evgenia. <laughs> but they really are big. Look at them. Wow. Well? It's delicious. Delicious. Happy for you guys. Here's to you, Natalia Vladimirovna. You're a woman of of character. Such women usually bring happiness and trouble. And to you, Andrei Pavlovich, I had a couple of moments in my life, but nothing close to what you have endured. In short, uh, here's to a, uh, a calmer future for you. You deserve it. Thank you. What can I say, comrades? Now kiss. 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 One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. What's wrong with you? Your husband? I went home to surprise him. And he wasn't alone. He was with some young girl. Where did he hit you? In the stomach? No, he just shoved me. So hard that I flew into the wall. I need to see you. Wait here. I'll be right back. I'll get the gurney. I'll get the gurney just a sec.
Thank you. Bad day? Once at school, my pants burst when I went to the blackboard. Today is worse. Yeah, you shouldn't be left alone on shift. What's up? You know, I would love to go to a hayloft with you right now and have you do whatever you want to do to me. So? Why will that not happen? Well, besides the fact that there's no hayloft. Because my mother explained to me very well that sex for sex's sake is the most worthless way to feel alive. When you eventually introduce me to your mom, I'll thank her for that personally. <laughs> my mom's gone. It's been six years. And your dad? My dad will someday find out what an amazing daughter he lost. sitting here alone. Asuka is missing. <laughs> what do you mean? You said that she was in Australia. In New Zealand. I'm calling, but she's not picking up the phone. Well, maybe it's night there. And Asya's sleeping. She promised that she would call before going to bed. And besides, how can she be so sleepy that she doesn't hear it? Come on, why are you getting so worked up? It's okay. Here. Uh. Well, let's go for a drink. Come on over, you hear me? Trish, my darling, I know it's not pleasant. We'll go to Daddy just now. Shh, what is it? It's unusual, Vladimirovna, to see you not fighting a battle or putting out fires, but just here at home as a happy woman. Unusual, but pleasant. I know, it's the same for me. What's going on? Natalia, the blood flow isn't stopping. Andrei Pavlovich. Andrei Pavlovich! Yeah. Andrei, yeah. I'm coming. come here. What's happened? Shh. I'm coming, I'm coming. His blood doesn't seem to be clotting and I've been treating the scratch for an hour. Okay. Let me see it. Let me see. Let me see. Твой страх, твой гнев, они как я. Don't cry, little one. Well, sore throat and small fever. Looks like an acute respiratory infection. Can we get Vinia Minigorovich? He's on vacation. And I don't think that... Wait a second. Has he fallen recently? No. You think we're beating him? Wait a minute. It's obvious. It's a sign of subcutaneous bleeding. You might just be right. Yes. Then hospitalization is necessary, and he needs to be tested for all sorts of blood diseases. Natalia, hold on. Natalia. 